complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. Starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know. If... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but... I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but, like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kinda spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <sighs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kinda shit out of luck. What? Uh, um... You want a piece of me, too? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. <laughs> mom got sick I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help and all he does is act like I'm not doing enough it's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up I'm sure he's just worried about mom yeah so am I that's why I'm here the least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16 totally what is he thinking right sorry I guess I just needed to blow off some steam I get it the last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other it's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. 
What? Why? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Just like 10 bucks? So, let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure. Of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a full shit fake of credit. Linda! <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer? Uh, all right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Vans are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, try again. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it, either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. Looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. Yeah, any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Drugstore, I don't want to risk missing our chance. Are you sure? Curiosity Shop does look pretty cool. We can check it out after. Fair enough. So, who's gonna do the honors? The honors? Talk to the clerk. You're afraid to talk to a drugstore clerk? <sighs> what? No, I'm just... You just don't want to haggle, do you? Hey, I already completely debased myself to get the money from my sister. I know you're all nervous to talk to the big scary drugstore clerk, but just think about it like acting, which you're great at. 
Uh, you know how to act, too. Yeah, but people around here actually like you. I don't know. That's the secret ingredient for most celebrities. Anybody can act. Well, some people can act. But making people like you is like a superpower. Well, I am pretty charming. That's why I love you. Mwah. Yeah, brother. Break a leg, you're gonna knock him dead. Okay. Keep that up and his head's not gonna fit out the door. Yeah, um, got a weird one for you. <laughs> this camera, um, so uh, it's not pretty. The lens is busted and I don't know if you guys are able to help with something like that, but we really need to get it fixed. So I just figured I'd come in and check. So yeah, I was wondering if you could take a look at it and uh, let me know if it's something you can help us with. Time to get us a good deal. We're so close to finishing the movie. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. How's it going? I'm working on it. Another missing kid. I hope they're found. I wonder if Linda's found anything cool. Man, if this is a bust and we can't finish the movie, fucking tragic. Yeah. I think if the world's deprived of murder mill, there's an outside chance it'll keep turning. Come on. Linda, what's the deal? All right, look. Just be straight with me. What's the deal with you and Jaime? What do you mean? All that lovey-dovey shit back there. Uh... You said, I love you. So? That's what couples say. Uh, not after they've only been going out for like three weeks. Fine, then that's what lovers say. Better? So much worse. Linda, Jaime is my lover and you better get used to it. <laughs> okay, that word is off limits. <laughs> Excuse me, young ladies, but is there something I can help you with? Oh, hey you. Hi, Robert. You quit working at the library? Ah, those are just volunteer hours. Now you're looking at an honest-to-goodness working stiff. Oh, income security is a very attractive quality in a man. So is access to book reservations. <laughs> hey. So, got bad news and good news. Bad news first, always. The bad news is they can't fix the camera. Ah, 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 ah. Don't you want to hear the good news? What's the good news? The good news is... Robert Greene's working in the drugstore now! Ta-da! 
Uh, we already knew that. Yeah, for like at least 30 seconds. Keep up with the times, Jaime. Gotta keep up. <laughs> Curiosity shop's probably still open if you want to see if they'll fix it. Yeah, let's head over there. What's the camera for? Dude, we're making the most killer horror movie the world's ever seen. No shit. Well, we were, until your dad broke our camera. He did what? It was an accident. We were shooting at the old mill, and he was not pleased. <sighs> I'm not surprised. He's always got his eye on that place. He already kicked us out once. But I don't think there's anything on the planet that's going to stop our director from finishing her magnum opus. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but there's more than one way into that mill. Oh, really? If you get the camera situation sorted out, you let me know. Message received. Let's just check it out. It's not like we have anything to lose. Come on! Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner's a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Ah, uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Shall we? If this is a trap, and we're walking right into the lair of the tchotchke chopper, I'm selling you out first chance I get. Likewise, compadre. Take a look around and see what we can find. How can you find anything in a place like this? Getting lost is half the fun. M maybe nobody's home. Bummer. I was hoping to show off how good I am at haggling. Then again, if we find a camera, we could just walk on out with it. That's not... I'm not saying we should just steal something. Who's gonna notice? There's like a bajillion things in this place. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't feel right. I just want to get this movie made any way we can. Why don't we spread out? Start over there. Oh, cute bunny. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. would want to watch this creep fest.
So, I've been thinking. About gothic romance novels? Yes. But no, about the movie. I think we could really strengthen the narrative if we just shoot an extra scene. I'm glad to see you're all having fun. But if you insist on using my store as a playground, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to take it outside. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just make sure you put it back where you found it. Wait, we're just looking for something to replace this? Oh, I see. We're making a film, and we broke it. Got anything that could help us? With all the cameras in the window, we just thought we'd see. There was one thing. I'm just not sure I still have it. I'll have to look in my back room for a few moments, if you don't mind waiting. We don't mind. I'll just be a minute. Ten to one, she brings us a photo camera. <laughs> or a telescope. Shh. Give her a minute. Comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ten bucks. Oh. I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. One of a kind. Handmade. It's for luck. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. I'm afraid that's the best I can offer. You know what? We'll take the camera. The price is fine. Oh, oh very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty 
awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Chris film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So is it. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. You're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Now, this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. A lot rattling around up here that could be mutually beneficial. Okay, then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber, elite collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays the long game with her cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor, I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. 
I shall stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? I told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime? I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... Touching. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now, that is a very good question. Mm. And an expensive one, too. Mm. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Peace. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. I should check on Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. Yeah? 
Now, what would you do if it was you here instead of me? Augustine has no a. Way. Uh, You'd be climbing the walls collection. looking for a way out. I've never seen anything Who's like dead? this stuff. Psh, I'm not, not getting in through a that. Not million years. No way. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like she really is out there guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like... That's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? I, uh, to be honest, I don't think it's a good idea to dwell on the past. It's very easy to get stuck looking the wrong way. Until you don't even see what's coming right in your path. Yeah, you're probably right. I just, I don't know if I'm ready to move on yet. That's understandable. But I'd be careful. Wearing that kind of grief on your sleeve makes you vulnerable. What do you mean? I don't want you putting too many expectations on whatever you hope to get out of this. You mean from Augustine? Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. Oh my God, there's someone out there. If someone else did find out this deal is going down, they might be after the film strips. Well, healthy competition does make for better offers. My guess is that if they're all dressed in black and prowling around the place like a thief, they're not here to make an offer. 
Maybe they just want to make a dramatic entrance. Should we tell Augustine? They might be dangerous. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. It's taking them so long. I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, you gotta keep it down. I don't want Pony to hear us. Okay, so, we all ready to start this production meeting? We got a heck of a night ahead of us. Hope you're all ready to get a little dirty. Always ready to get a little dirty. That's what I wanna hear. God. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. 
Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I aim to please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. We're not gonna exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about everything that happened there? Jaime, if it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris? Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding, obviously. Obviously. Robert and I are gonna look for any more locations in the mill connected to stone where we can shoot. Then I'm gonna go make this thing any way I have to. Why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. An omniverse? Yeah, I'm sure there's gotta be something out. we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. I can't believe the Mom's finally getting out. Decline. But if it doesn't wait. mention Frank... I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch.
I pulled some of these today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders. And a little before. Oh, good thinking. I'm sure no one was sad to see it go. Our list sure can't get enough Frank Stone. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm, understandable. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but, you know, those victims could have been any of us, or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris... I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? We'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect. But I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Oh! Yes! Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders. Before they realized it was Frank! It's about mill operations. Kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Work of Frank Stone machine shop. Bullseye! Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people! Company move! Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mail. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, it takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. All right. This way.
can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frankstone actually killed people. Frank... Okay. Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the up.